Hello. Hi. Hello. Good. So what time is it there? It's 10. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Okay. Yeah. So it's six o'clock here and the sun is setting and we're just finished mm -hmm. our bike ride and we got a bit of nice weather, which is not that usual for this part of London, but it's okay. So it's all very nice. We are Paya and Ada from S the SBMS Teen Press based in Santa Barbara, California. Today we are on Zoom with Lord Ian McNichol in London, England. It's very nice to be speaking with you. It's an absolute pleasure to be speaking with you. So first of all, what is it that you do? For <laughs> okay, um, that's such a difficult question because there's um, so many different um, parts uh, of it. So uh, a little bit of background. Um, I went into the House of Lords um, two years ago um, in 2018. Um, so I'm one of the one of the young lords, although I look old, I'm, I'm one of the, the younger ones. So in the House of Lords, um, it is the second biggest um, political chamber in the world um, in terms of numbers. So the only one that's bigger is the Chinese um, Politburo in China. They've got more people. So there are over there are over 750 lords um, and baronesses and we come from all different backgrounds and what we do is um, we scrutinise, so we look over the legislation that the House of Commons um, come forward with um, on behalf of the government. They are the primary chamber and the reason they're the primary chamber is because they're elected um, every five years um, maximum there is an election. Um, for me, uh, I'm in the House of Lords until either I step aside um, or I die. So I'm there for the rest of my life, which is a very strange political chamber to be in. So what is it like in London for you right now? So, going on? Yeah, so I think it's the same for, um, for all of us um, with uh, COVID-19 and the restrictions. Um, the government in London um, decided that um, four weeks ago, four and a half weeks ago, we would all be locked down um, for three weeks. Um, we could go out shopping, um, we could go out for exercise, and if we had pets, we could take our pets out. Um, but no other um, travel um, was allowed. Um, that lasted um, for four weeks, and we have another um, three weeks of that. So we're one week into that. So on May the 7th, in two weeks' time, the government will make a decision. So it's, it, you know, it's tough. Um, I've got um, kids, I'm a little bit older than yourself, Adam Ayapaya. Um, one of them's back from university. One of them um, was meant to be sitting his exams, his final school exams, and they've just been cancelled. Um, so it's, it's tough, but, um, but we are very lucky. We have a nice garden, and um, so we've been using that, and we've been able to go out for walks and, and play a lot of board games. So um, that's what we've been up to. Um, but I've been working as well um, because government has still carried on. And because I'm, I'm one of the young members of the House of Lords, I'm, I've just been appointed as a deputy speaker. So I'm now one of the speakers. Um, so last this week, I'm, I drove in to the House of Lords. I can send you a photo. And I'm, I sat I'm on the, on the wool sack which is the chair um, made of wool um, that we sit on um, in the middle of the chamber. Um, so we had some, some work to do because there was some legislation and some bills um, that were um, coming through that we needed to, to work with. So um, I've been going to work and the rest of the family have been um, looking after the house and sorting things out and exercising. We're 12 and 13. Yep. Um, when when you were our age, what did you imagine you would do as an adult? <laughs> I didn't imagine that I'm, I would be I'm the Lord McNichol of Wesco Bride. I'm, I certainly didn't imagine that. I'm, what I imagined, I'm, Pai, you've, you've been up to the farm um, in Scotland, haven't you? Uh, Have you not? I don't remember, actually. Okay. I'm, I, 
I think you may have a lot. I don't know, actually. So you've been here in London, but to, I'm, I grew up on a small farm, a um, very small farm um, in, on the west coast of Scotland, just below Glasgow, um, where it rains all the time, unlike Santa Barbara and unlike here um, just now. And when I was your age, I was just going into secondary school. Um, and I really enjoyed um, being on the farm and working on the farm um, through the summers. So I, at your age, I thought that I would become a farmer um, and, and be on the farm and plant potatoes and grow potatoes and um, have livestock. And, um, and I, just, I just moved on. So when I got old, you may come on to this, but when I got older, I moved on. But that's what I wanted to be, a farmer. What changed you to want to get, what made you want to change to politics? <laughs> okay, so I'm so really interested. So there was a couple of steps that, that got me from your age, wanting to be a farmer, um, to, to here in the, in the House of Lords. So when I was about um, 17, um, so West Colbride's a, a small village and small community. And when I was 17, I'm, I distinctly remember waking up um, after I'm finishing school. I didn't do very well at school, so hopefully you're all studying really hard. School wasn't my thing. Being out on the farm, being up in the woods, driving tractors, I'm, that was my thing. Um, so, but I distinctly remember waking up and thinking, if, if I don't get out, if I don't, if I don't move on and and go to the next challenge, I'm I will never, I'll never I'm I'll never break out of here, and I'm I wanted to change the world, I wanted to and I still do. I want to make a difference um, to people's lives, to the environment, to society. I just I just wanted to make a difference, and there was something inside me, an emotion that that drove me. So I talked my way into a college, um, one of the technical colleges, um, and I studied um, a practical technical course in building management. Um, but when I was a, a student, I then got involved in, in politics and, I, and we all came together and it was a really exciting time. It was the late um, 80s. God, that's a long time ago. It was the late 80s. Um, so Nelson Mandela, um, was being released from a prison he'd been in for 30 years. The wall, um, the Cold War with Eastern Europe, the Berlin Wall was all coming down. The world was, there was hope, um, there was energy. And I, and, and I, was, I wanted to be part of that. So I became a student um, activist um, and, and just threw everything into it. 